you from every captivity of the wicked I liberate you from every chain of the devil I liberate you spiritually from every spirit of depression I liberate you spiritually from every spirit of backwardness I liberate you spiritually from every lies of the enemy I liberate you from every familiarity in the name of Jesus it's not your fight you're gonna waste your time trying to fight that battle oh yes you're gonna waste your time trying to confront that lady try to confront that man you're gonna waste your time trying to make them understand who you are you're gonna waste your time trying to explain yourself that i'm a nice person i mean well for you you're gonna waste your time but the bible said he that dwells in the secret place of the most high you gotta learn how to dwell in the presence of god give him the battle let him take the battle himself when you have God oh when you have God oh you are powerful oh tell somebody I'm powerful say I'm powerful so don't mess with me uh, you are not saying it convictly see you're saying in the American way say I'm powerful say I'm powerful so don't mess with me put your hands together take your seat in the presence of the Lord this morning faith that is not tried can never God can never trust you until he tries you God can never trust you until he tries you tries your faith and see how faithful are you the one that get excited when the church is full uh-huh are you the one that get excited when you have so much money in your bank account a faith that is not tried cannot be trusted. He told Abraham, leave your comfort zone to a place where I'm going to show you. A place of grace, a place of glory, a place that God will give you abundant grace. Abundant grace. You got to stop this familiarity with church. I was listening to a dear pastor online today and he told the people that have been in the church for 40 years to stand up and a whole lot of people stood up and I said praise God they've been there for 40 years and he said those of you that have been there for 30 years in this church can you stand up and people stood up and he said those of you that have been here for 20 years can you stand up my question is how long have you been with God How long have you been with the master in the same place? And I asked myself, those people that stayed there for 40 years, it wasn't like they didn't have problems. It wasn't like there was no issues. It wasn't like nothing was going on. But because they know that what they are looking for is not about anybody, but the God that is in the church, the God that is in the pastor. Because God says, come on to me all ye who are. Amen. Father, we thank you for this morning already. I feel the spirit and the presence of God in the house. Thank you for your magnificent presence that's here. We can't do anything without your presence and your power. We need the Holy Spirit. Go ahead of us. Teach us. Open our spiritual mind. Help us to understand that which we do not know. And help us to dissect the word of God. Lord, as we listen to your word, speak through me. Break every chain of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, every wandering spirit, we arrest it in the name of Jesus. And we command the Holy Spirit to take charge of this place. I subject you, every thought pattern spirit, every accusing voice, everyone that is here to accuse you and say you are not supposed to be in church. Lord, I pray that you take charge of these ones. I cover them. Open their understanding. 